They're in our souls. And that you don't know who you're going to touch when you do bury your soul. And it might be scary to do, and you might fear the rejection that much more, because now it's not just rejecting, oh, I'm entertaining, but now it's rejecting you in a way. But, oh, dig deep. Show people how much heart we all have in our projects. So I'm just cutting off the rest of that speech. That's it. Um, <laughs> And I'm just going to do a little excerpt from uh, my live one woman show that I'm doing. So I'm just doing the poem that's at the end of where it's, um, this is from Cancer's Perspective. I have wars waged upon me and walks staged against me. You try to blame me and shame me for doing my job. But maybe you should look at why I arrived. You blame genetics or food for giving you this curse. But it's not what you put in your mouth, but what didn't come out that was worse. You invited me in. You asked me to stay. By burying your feelings and the things you wanted to say. The hate that you ate was your true poison. And the only way out is to learn to be open. I have no motive or malice. A villain I am not. And if you look deep within, you will realize it's the gift I have brought. I'm a teacher, and I give you a gift more precious than life. The realization that you have caused your very own strife. I do not break families apart, but I bring them together. I show you that the weak are strong, and to be vulnerable is better. All that glitters is not gold. Your youth, hair, breast, will all get old. You have put value in an asset with diminishing return. And I will make sure that all of it burns. And out of the ashes, true beauty will grow. And love is the only thing you will need to know. And I pray that one day you will really forgive. Because that is the moment you will begin to live. Woo!